Now, we had pretty nice conditions today with some sunshine. We've dealt with some haze so far, but overall not too bad. We start off your 6 o'clock weathercast here with our Garden Gallery winner for this evening. This is coming in from Dodge County. Beautiful photo there from Lori. Thanks for sending that in. You're our Wednesday winner this evening, and you can send in those garden photos to either the email address there on your screen to garden at kddc.com, or you can join our weather photo community group on Facebook. What to expect here the rest of the night? We deal with mild conditions this evening. We'll deal with some cloud cover. So the cloud cover helps our temperatures overnight tonight. We look towards Thursday, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. We need some rainfall. We could finally get some widespread rain coming up for tomorrow. And then as we look towards the weekend, we deal with muggy conditions and more storms will be possible both Saturday and potentially on Sunday. Outside, we deal with some partly cloudy skies. Temperatures right now at 76 the rest of the night. At least the evening will stay in those lower 70s and we'll drop down mid 60s for lows tonight. We look at those current temperatures. We're at 75 in Dodge Center, 80 through Zambroda and Plainview. It's 82 currently in Red Wing and 84 in La Crosse. We'll continue to filter in some cloud cover that helps our overnight lows tonight. It's probably a little warmer than what we were the past several nights. Our next storm system will be off to the west here. Cold front slides through for Thursday. That brings the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So let's look at your weather timeline here for the day on Thursday coming up tomorrow. I think most of the morning were dry until late morning, early afternoon. Then we work in the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Our best chance probably after the lunch hour until right around dinner from 1 to 7. A severe threat, severe risk for tomorrow. Very low. We just look at a couple rumbles of thunder and some rainfall. We fast forward to Saturday. Some spotty showers in the morning. Our best chance coming up on Saturday will be mainly after 6 o'clock. That's what the timing looks at, uh, at current timing. Anyway, that can change a little bit since we're still several days out, but we look at the evening hours on Saturday and maybe early on Sunday morning. So future track here tonight. Those southerly winds continue. Temperatures tomorrow morning mid 60s. Notice future track tries to bring in an isolated shower tomorrow morning. I think we're mainly dry early on. The main threat will be off to the west of I-35 by about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. As we approach the lunch hour in the mid-afternoon, here's our chance for some showers, a couple rumbles of thunder, not looking at severe weather. And I don't think our rainfall totals will be all that impressive for tomorrow. Dry conditions then as we move towards early Friday morning, those temperatures will rebound. We're back into the lower 80s for highs coming up on Friday. So speaking of those rainfall amounts, we're still seven and a half inches below average uh, for the calendar year for precipitation. I think we sit probably under two tenths of an inch of rain. We could have some pockets upwards of a quarter to even a half inch in some isolated areas, but widespread not expecting that rainfall to reach a half inch for tomorrow. 62 for the overnight low tonight. We're partly cloudy. We'll continue to build in the cloud cover throughout the overnight hours. Forecast for tomorrow calls for high temperatures mid to upper 70s. I think we're hindered due to the cloud cover and the rainfall, so only looking at about 74 to 77 across the area tomorrow. Seven day forecast 82 for the high Friday. We move towards the weekend lower 80s now because there is a threat for some showers and thunderstorms coming up both Saturday and Sunday. Not a complete washout either day. We'll have some periods of rain both Saturday and Sunday and then warm and muggy as we move towards next week. Guys. Okay. Okay.